it's Mrs. Murphy, and I'm back for one more day of talking about The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. Now, today, we're going to focus in on the character traits of a story. Character traits are the words we use to describe a character. Today, we're going to look at The Little Red Hen and her friends and decide what their character traits are. Now, the thing is, an author doesn't always come right out and tell you what their trait is. It's up to you to look at the text and use your own knowledge to figure out what their traits might be. Let's start by taking a look at the little red hen. At the story, when the little red hen asked her friends for some help, all three of her friends said they didn't want to help. But you know what she said? She said she'll get them herself. You know what? I think that the little red hen might be hardworking. Let's see if we can find another example of it. She asked for help again. Again, all three of the friends didn't want to help. So the little red hen went to do it herself again. I really does seem like she's hardworking. Let's see if we can find one more example of her being hardworking. Look, the little red hen is at it again. The friends didn't want to help make her pizza, but she went ahead and did it all by herself. She doesn't give up. I know that people who don't give up are hardworking. These clues tell me the little red hen is definitely hard. Where my thoughts with somebody, I could draw a picture like this, showing the little red hen hard at work. And then I would write, the little red hen is hard working. Now, let's take a look at the little red hen's friends. Their character traits in the beginning are actually a little bit different than what they are at the end. Let's take a closer look. Oh look, this page is a perfect example. The little red hen asked for help and all three animals said, not I, meaning that they did not want to help. This happened time and time again. This shows that the characters, her friends, are being selfish. That means that they're only thinking about themselves. I could show my thoughts on this by drawing a picture. In the picture, I show the friends playing because we know that while they were playing, Little Red Hen was doing all the work. Then I wrote the sentence to match. In the beginning, the friends were selfish. Let's take a look at the end to see how their character traits changed. Oh, I just love this part of the book. Look, the Little Red Hen is asking for help doing the dishes. And remember, each animal said, I will. The cat, the duck, and the dog said, I will. Do you think the Little Red Hen's friends are acting differently than at the beginning of the book? You're right, they are. What words could you use to describe how they're acting now? You could say that they're helpful or that they're kind. If you wanted to show this in a picture, you could draw a picture of the animals helping with the dishes. Then you could write the sentence, in the end, the friends are helpful. Now it's your turn. Can you show me what the little red hen's friend's character traits were at the beginning of the story? Then show me what they were at the end of the story. I can't wait to see how you do. Bye, everybody.